In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear good people, we are on Saturday, and today it is the sixth day in our 25 days novena for candidates and all school-going children. Yesterday, we looked at uh, factors that makes our prayer life uh, impossible or difficult. Out of that, I did ask my question. In what situation are we in when we are struggling with our prayer life? In spiritual development, there is something we call spiritual stalemate. Spiritual stalemate. What is a spiritual stalemate? Spiritual stalemate is a condition whereby you find yourself spiritually stuck. Spiritually stuck. You've, maybe you're trying, or maybe you're not trying. But whatever the case, you are in a spiritual stalemate. In a spiritual stalemate, what are you supposed to do, or what are we supposed to do every time we find ourselves in a spiritual stalemate? One of the things that you do when you are in a spiritual stalemate situation is pay attention to the ifs, ifs in the Bible. I-F-S, if, if is a conditional clause. For example, the one found in Isaiah 1, 19. If you are willing and obedient, this and this and this happened. If. Now, why do we talk about this? If is a big word in the Bible. It speaks directly to our responsibility when it comes to receiving from God. Because, as I have always said, there is what that which is the work of God, and there is our work. Let me give you a practical example. God is our protector. God is our protector. I'm imagining a scenario where I am riding a bicycle on a steep uh, ground. Very steep. The road is very steep. So I'm going downhill. Remember, God is my protector. He is the one to guard me, not to hit myself uh, against a stone. And believing that God is my protector and I'm riding my bike down the road, the steep uh, place or downhill, as I ride my bike, I close my eyes. I close my eyes because God will protect me. Now what happens at that point? Chances are, I will crash. It might break my ribs. So we may want to ask this question. Why didn't God protect me? And the answer is now coming to the eaves. If I had taken responsibility of my own security... God would have done an, uh, made an intervention. If I had become more cautious, if I had done this or the other one, aha. Uh -huh. So there is always my part. So when you are in a spiritual stalemate, pay attention to the eaves in the Bible. Maybe you have not been patient enough. Maybe you have not been obedient enough. Maybe you have not been benevolent enough. 
Maybe you have not been willing to receive him in your life. Maybe you have not been diligent enough. If you will, if you will diligently listen, now that doesn't mean you just listen once a week or like that. There is always the reason when we are getting stuck that maybe there is something we are not doing right, deliberately or otherwise. Number two, what to do when you are in a spiritual stalemate. Take love to the next level. I love that. Take love to the next level. If you have been feeling stuck in your spiritual life, not seeing manifestations of what you are believing for, your love walk is a critical place to check. You, you are still mated, as it were. And if you are not walking in love, your faith won't work. If you didn't know, now you know. And without your faith in operation, those things you are believing for are not going to come to pass. That is why we talk about walking in love so much it's a prerequisite for any spiritual promotion. To take love to the next level and walk in love as God has commanded you will put others' interests ahead of your own. We cannot ignore others and expect to spiritually thrive or otherwise. Taking love to the next level, it is understanding or appreciating the fact that I am not alone in this world and I have a duty to bring others on board. Finally, increase your Bible patience. Increase your Bible patience. Let me read for you James 1.4. Let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. The other day, uh, a small girl told me, I think she is in class 7 or 8, eh? but she told me that, uh, Father, I have been praying for this and this and this, and it does not work. Does it mean that God does not listen? And I told her, my dear, Sometimes God can take good time to answer our prayers because he comes at his own times. Part of the reasons why we feel stalemated it is because we are not patient enough. We are still in what we call quick fix mentality. We want things to be done and done very fast. No wonder we are now whining and pining and lamenting and mourning and grieving because we think God has forgotten us. He has not. My dear friend, it doesn't matter what you have been asking God. It doesn't matter how long you have waited. I, one thing I can tell you for a fact, your prayers he has heard. When and how he will answer, it's up to him. Your work and my work is to be patient. It is as simple as that. Tomorrow it is Sunday, the second Sunday of Lent. Please join me tomorrow at 8 a.m. East African time for Holy Mass. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Saturday.